So this is supposed to be an Allegheny pawpaw, and it isn't. And the reason why it isn't is because it's there's the graft up high, and see it's coming out of the rootstock. Now look at the growth I have from one season. The, the, this this came like this. It came growing out of the box like this. It hasn't slowed down once. So in one season, this pawpaw has grown almost 30 inches so far. Like I said, it's about August 5th. It still has some time to grow, but that is a huge amount of growth for a young pawpaw. I've never seen anything like this. And I think that they did me a favor. I've been doing some videos about this company and that's edible landscaping. And they definitely did me a favor here. This is nothing that I would want to return because the genetics in this little pawpaw, it's just superior. I mean, the, the amount of growth in one season, that's crazy. Okay, this pawpaw tree is about six foot. It's pushing six foot. It looks like it's gonna flower next year. And in this season, right, from like May to, what is it now? It's like August 5th or 6th or something. It grew, it has grown about 11 inches, okay? And all of them are between 10 and 11 inches, right? So this is genetics. By the way, this is from a seedling of select pawpaws. Now what I mean about the genetics being superior as far as like growth goes, a, a tree that's gonna grow fast and that is unusual in pawpaws. Pawpaws are a very slow growing tree. They don't grow much at all. Like it takes years to get pawpaws if you're starting off with young plants. So just on that alone, that the that the plants will grow that fast makes it, you know, superior quality. It doesn't even matter about its fruit. It doesn't. Because if it will flower, it can be used to pollinate. So this is something that I'm very happy about, that I own a tree that will grow this fast, a pawpaw tree that will grow this fast. Edible landscaping definitely did me a favor. This is a genetic freak, you know? Unless it doesn't flower, which I bet it does flower, you know, even if it gives lousy fruit, the fact that it'll grow that quick, you know, as a pawpaw tree, that's a keeper. This is something that I can use for sure. I mean, there's no way I'm returning that plant. There's no way, you know? As soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh, the graft, you know, it's not even coming out of the graft. It's coming out of the, the, the base, the rootstock. But I was looking at it and I'm like, that's crazy looking, you know? That's crazy looking, it's, it's growing, coming out of the box, and it just really has not stopped growing. So this is a definite keeper. Thank you, Edible Landscaping, for giving me this plant. That's awesome. Many times when you transplant a pawpaw, you're not going to really see any growth. It, it won't do anything. It'll just send energy to its root system. It's all, they're all about the roots, you know? So it sends energy to the root system, and it doesn't do anything like the whole summer. It just sort of, you know, it's alive, you can tell, but it's, and it's not dormant, but it's not really moving in a upward direction. So th this is very unusual to see a plant like this. When I transplanted it, it was like, it just kept growing. It didn't slow down. It's a freak, you know? Plants like animals, there's genetic freaks. There's superior plants. That's what it's all about anyway, you know? Breed the healthiest stock, grow the healthiest plant. 